All right. Here we go. Hopefully this is uh, steady for you, not wobbling all over the place. Oh, such a beautiful day. I'm out on my only form of exercise for the day. Nice little bike ride. And I'm gonna go up to Duncan Downs, which is a nice little area of green space, quite wild in places, and try and find bluebells. There's an ancient woodland at the back, which I've heard over the last few years. That there's some bluebells up there. I've never been up there because I've always been going on walks um, onto the Kent Downs and places like that to see the bluebells. So, little mini adventure, and I'm cycling, so that's quite fun. Woohoo! Is quite interesting. So I'm cycling along Stream Walk, which um, cuts through the back of Whitstable, and I found some bluebells. But these are the Spanish variety; they're the non-native variety. So I'm just going to zoom in there, and hopefully you should be able to see the difference. See how close we can get and do a proper close-up. So they're quite a bit bigger. They're not as delicate, and they're a different colour. So you can get this one here. I'm somewhere, where am I? I should have probably figured this out first. I'm like here somewhere. And I can walk up this steep hill and go through the woods and then towards the back, where the old Thanet Way is there, is an ancient woodland called Ben Acre Wood. And I believe it is there that the bluebells can be found. So let's go and discover them. So peaceful here. Considering Whitstable town is literally just there over those trees. So nice to hear the sounds of spring. Just about to say that and then some seagull chirps in. I haven't really explored Duncan Downs properly since I've lived here. So this is quite a fun reason to uh, just get lost on some of the footpaths. Uh, just to give you a bit of context, Duncan Downs it was an area that was saved in the 30s. It was, this was all going to be built on and, um, and it was saved and given village green status. I think it's about 50 acres. So it's quite a large space and um, that actually makes it the largest village green anywhere in the United Kingdom, which I didn't know. Wikipedia is a wonderful resource. I've arrived, I've arrived into Ben Acre Wood, uh, the ancient woodland at the back of Duncan Downs, and I can already see a little blue purple hue on the, uh, on the horizon, I should say, but just, just along the footpath. So I'm very excited to go and investigate exactly what that is. And I can already see around me stitchwort, celandine, and wood anemone. So this is already, at a very exciting time. I feel even more excited because this isn't something that I'm seeing on a regular basis. I'm not going and doing my walks. So this is just some of those very simple pleasures but made even, even better, more satisfying.
just have to calm down a little bit because it's actually quite emotional and you're going to be watching this thinking what is Hannah talking about but I think seeing the bluebells every year you normally look at them and you think oh that's beautiful that's amazing but you I don't know I never really take the time to fully appreciate them when you know that like I'm not going to be able to come here every day and see these bluebells and I'm not doing the walks that that's taken away a little bit and you just really appreciate the small things and I hope you know what I mean by that but like the birds singing they're probably telling me to go away but I'm hearing it as like bird song and just being able to see little flowers, little wildflowers popping up and just the attention, like that attention to detail that I don't normally, I'm not sure I normally look at things with quite such um, intent. I might have just caught a bee doing a very cheeky thing which I've never seen before but I've heard happens is that the bees cheat by taking the nectar from the bottom of the flower so if you think about the bluebells sort of hanging down I mean you would have seen it the bottom is where the nectar is but normally they'll try and get to it by climbing up into the um, into the flower itself but they bite a hole in the top and then get the nectar that way so I think I might have just captured that which is so exciting I'm just gonna have to sit down for a minute and calm down back in Whitstable and I oh, love today. It was so enjoyable to go up to the woods and discover a new bit of the woods, uh, especially that so close to Whitstable. Um, and yeah, just been thinking about other places that I could go to, that I could show you just while we're in this pretty strange lockdown situation, trying to make the best of it, make some more videos and show you guys what's happening around my little part of the world um so yeah i hope i hope you can take some positive vibes from this video if you want to share it then please do and um yeah i think if we can just slow things down and watch the small details of the world then uh yeah maybe we can take some sort of comfort from that i certainly have done so thanks once again i'll see you very soon and take care guys